Guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back, and I do appreciate the support. Guys, a couple days ago, I did a story about a gruesome discovery out there in uh, New York City. Shout out, New York. And uh, it was about some body parts that was found in the shopping cart, partially burned. And uh, it's still a big mystery around this. New information has came out about the crime scene, what they actually found, what's missing from the body so far, what they caught. Well, ain't missing no more. They found all the pieces. But uh, a little bit about, you know, behind the scenes, some of the gruesome details that weren't said in the first part. And believe me, they, they're, they're not too good. When I did that video, I talked a lot about, you know, the type of mentality a person has to have to do something like that. And I'm going to stick with that. I mean, come on, man. To do that, it takes a lot of effort. And uh, let me just show you this video of what they're talking about now. And I want you to pay close attention when they showed the two people walking down the street, supposedly pushing this dismembered body towards the subway train where they caught a train with this body. Pay attention at uh, the two people walking and see if you spotted what I saw. Take a look. Sandra, thank you. New video now possibly tied to a gruesome crime. Men in the Bronx seen rolling a shopping cart with something heavy inside, similar to a cart that was found burning with a body inside in Yonkers. Eyewitness News reporter NJ Burkett live in the Longwood section with the new video and the new details for us tonight. NJ? <laughs> That's right, Mike. Every new detail is more macabre, more gruesome than the last. And Eyewitness News has just learned that at least one person has been identified as a person of interest in this case. But no one's in custody, at least not yet. Police traced the murder to this five-story tenement in Longwood through a series of surveillance videos like this one obtained by Eyewitness News that shows two people wheeling an apparently heavy object in a shopping cart. A shopping cart similar to the one found burning on a desolate street in Yonkers at 2 a.m. on Monday. Inside the shopping cart was a dismembered human body. One source familiar with the investigation tells Eyewitness News that the corpse's teeth had been torn out and its fingers cut off. Police later discovered that the corpse was transported to Yonkers aboard a Metro North commuter train. Eyewitness News has learned that the people boarded the train at the Melrose station, roughly one mile from the apartment, and that the corpse had been frozen. When police searched the apartment, they found the victim's legs in the freezer, the hands in a crock pot filled with bleach. In addition, police say drug paraphernalia and a gun were found in the kitchen of the apartment. This woman lives in the building and heard loud noises that she says sounded like someone was carrying something heavy down the stairs. It seemed like it was heavy, she told us in Spanish, and I heard the voice of a man who was telling someone else to hurry up. Late this afternoon, police officers recovered their surveillance video from the corner bodega. Now, the identity of the victim has not yet been released. It's not clear if the victim has even positively uh, been identified. Uh, we don't know the cause of death. We don't know the motive. What we do know is that at least one person of interest has been identified, but no one is in custody, at least not yet. Live tonight in the Bronx, NJ Burke at Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Guys, that's the story. Some more information they didn't say about the hands being taken off at the wrist. Then the fingertips removed and the hands placed in a crock pot with bleach. Man, it's crazy stuff. I don't know what that was about, but I mean, they took this person apart limb by limb, actually. Froze the body. The body was frozen. That's why it didn't burn up when they tried to incinerate it on the bridge. Roll down the, uh, on the train with it. Now, it has to be a certain type of mentality of a person that does this that I can't fathom. I mean, I don't know what this person did to deserve such treatment, but it is a lot of vitriol and hate behind doing that to somebody. Now, the reason why I brought up that thing with the two people walking, if you paid attention, and if you didn't, you can run back and look real quick before I say what I'm about to say. The person on the right, not the person pushing, the person on the right, if you paid attention to the mannerisms, that was a woman, a heavy set woman, walking with the hands on like this, that was a woman that was with that person. My opinion, and I'm anxious to see, this is just me saying, I think that person that was dismembered, that they're not identifying yet, is not a man, it's a woman. It's just a hunch I have. I want you to think about something. 
This guy had a woman with him as he dismembered another human body. She was fine with it. Walking down the street laughing and talking like they was pushing trash or groceries. Carrying a conversation. Got on the train. You see that uh, uh, train stop they went to? You had to go down the steps. They took that body down the steps. They put a lot of time and energy both in the preparation to move that body and the logistical, uh, you know, the logistics and putting it in motion to where they had it in their head that, hey, we'll take it over here and just dump it on the other side of town or wherever. And person went with it. That was a woman with that man. I believe so. I ain't editing that. I'm leaving it. I'm a human being. But um, I, I, you know, from a from a sense a sense standpoint of just common sense, I can't fathom sitting next to a woman after doing whatever we just did with a frozen cadaver in front of us, our handiwork in front of us, looking for any place to drop this thing off. And that's the thing. They didn't hide it. They left it out on a bridge, just left it there. Police came across it. Could you imagine if some kids or something seen that? Or just anybody out walking their dog. That's something you can't unsee. Man, the world is crazy. And it's like when people want to get you and they get you, they don't care about how you look after it. You know, a lot of times in these crimes, right? Like the story I did before, you know, before this one, if you go back, it'll probably be in the uh, video catalog where the guy killed the woman in the apartment and then threw a body in a vacant lot. You notice when these people do these crimes, you can see a lot about how much they care about human life by the way they treat the body after They've taken the life of the person. Chopped the body up. Left it out in the open to be found. Man, my allergies are killing me today. Um, just leaving it for anybody to come across. Don't care if it stinks, the smell attracts police or animals. Nothing. Nothing. Man, people nowadays, man, with the way they are and how they see human life for just other human beings is like baffling to me to where they don't care about nobody. And if they do, it just turns into something in a fit of anger, like you and that person never had good times or as if that person never existed in your life to where you would feel bad if you did something to them. That's the part that's scary. Nobody has consciousness anymore. And, uh, you gotta be careful who you call friends or who you have around you because I mean you don't know people want something from you or they just don't want to just take your life either way man this, this is messed up I'm anxious to see though I think that was a woman that was dismembered and they're not talking about it they haven't identified the person that they found but I think it's a woman another thing is I know for a fact that person walking with them was a woman I don't know what kind of woman have a man will be around a man and indulge in that type of stuff then again I mean People have different sickness they suffer from. This is just one of them. Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. One more thing. This don't make sense to me. You didn't want the body to be identified. You pulled the teeth out the mouth. And you cut the fingertips off. I guess you did something with the toes too. Because his, finger, his footprints on the toes. But you put the body out to be found. So you want somebody to find the body, but you don't want them to know who it is. Sounds strange. Sound weird. Do you know how hard it is to pull human teeth? They said they ripped all the teeth out the mouth. Do you know how hard, I mean strenuous, it is to do fully rooted teeth in an adult mouth out one by one? That's something to think about. I think this is a crime of complete hate. That's just my opinion. Thanks for listening.